Hi, welcome everyone. My name's Scott Somerville. I'm the CEO of Apira Group. We have offices in uh, Brisbane, Sydney, um, Melbourne and Perth. And today we're here to uh, introduce a key employee, Stuart Buck. He's the um, laboratory manager, uh, licensed asbestos assessor. And um, he's going to be running us through our recently NADA accredited laboratory. Um, we've got a whole pile of questions for Stu. Uh, he's got a wealth of experience. So Stuart, tell us about the NADA accreditation and what that allows us to do. So we're accredited for the analysis of asbestos in bulk materials and asbestos in air. We can do asbestos fibre counting as well. So what, what are actually the sampling methods between, say, an air sample and a, and a, and a bulk sample? So our air sample, we use a asbestos sampling pump and that collects the uh, asbestos fibres onto a filter which is analysed under the microscope. The uh, bulk building materials are collected from site and transported to our laboratory for analysis under the microscope for identification of the asbestos fibres. Typically, where do you find asbestos? Let's start with, say, a residential property and then give us some commercial and some industrial examples? So in residential properties, generally asbestos can be found in many locations. It includes walls, flooring, ceiling, insulation. Looking at, you know, any city CBD and you're looking at that type of infrastructure, where, where do you normally find asbestos in those places? So in commercial buildings, it's uh, very common to see asbestos also in plant equipment, so your HVAC systems, your heating and cooling systems, and also fireproofing materials. Um, how do they apply to our services? Like, can you run through the list of services um, that we offer other than just getting samples to an lab for identification? Yeah. In relation to the asbestos and hazardous materials, uh, the Asbestos services we offer are the uh, sampling from site. We can take the samples and do an asbestos survey to put together the asbestos register and asbestos management plan for a building or property. Um, we can also undertake asbestos air monitoring, which covers the uh, safety and uh, control measures that are put in place during asbestos removal projects. You know, there's lots of you know, work going to go on for the Olympics and there's always old buildings that, you know, don't have any sort of historical registration that they're going to keep and there's lots of refurbished space. So what, what happens um, on a demolition project where the register tells us that there's asbestos? Like what role do you play in, in that whole remediation process? Mm, yeah, that's a really important one. Um, with any type of demolition or refurbishment work, it's very important that if the building's of an age where it could contain asbestos or if there's known asbestos in the building, it's a requirement to have a demolition or refurbishment survey undertaken before any work starts. That's to ensure that there's no asbestos materials that may be hidden in wall cavities or other uh, unexpected locations on site. If flood has occurred, it's likely that you will be required to remove wall sheeting or further materials, floor sheeting from the affected areas. Um, and there's a good chance that those can contain asbestos and uh, they really do need to be inspected prior to any uh, contractors being on site to undertake any works. There's a couple of questions I wanna ask you here. Everyone does a like a, a pre-purchase building inspection. Um, how do you, how, how do we go about you know fulfilling a role in a say pre-purchase building inspection, or you know like I've had friends say, oh look, we're about to buy this house and it's full of asbestos. We want to know what it's going to cost to remediate and how much we've got to remove, or we're just going to buy a new house. What you know. What, what are your thoughts and, how, and what's the process for doing like a pre-purchase building inspection or if just somebody's in a house that they now decide to renovate but they need to know, you know what they're up against before they commit? Asbestos pre-purchase inspection is uh, a very important stage before 
purchasing a property. It's a very quick and reasonably inexpensive process which can save you a lot of time and headaches in, in the future. Advice and support if you got for somebody that's got a potential asbestos issue that may not have an asbestos lab within a reasonable travel distance. Yeah, that's a tricky one. It comes up often. Your best course of action is to, of course, have someone come out to your property to take the samples, uh, a suitably experienced and licensed person. But if it's not possible and you're comfortable doing it yourself, you can take those samples and have them sent to us. You want to talk us through what those options are? So you've got the option of uh, sending those samples directly to us and we can undertake the analysis for you and have a report to you in a very short amount of time. Uh, the other option is to have us send you our asbestos collection and sampling uh, kit, which you can then post to us for analysis, collecting the sample yourself. We can provide you with some simple personal protective equipment, such as a N95 or P2 mask, some gloves for handling the material, some asbestos waste bags, the Ziploc bags for collecting your sample and labelling, some drop sheets, asbestos coveralls, and once you've collected your sample, you can fill out the chain of custody form and you can have all your details on there. Um, how much does it cost to have a sample analysed and how long before I get a result? So depending on the number of samples that you submit to us, the standard rate is $50 per sample. You should have your results within 24 hours from the receipt of your samples to our laboratory. So if your building is, uh, has been built prior to 1990, there's a requirement that an asbestos register must be present on the site for any contractors. So the asbestos register must be reviewed once every five years in Queensland, and that's different in different states and territories. Uh, once every five years minimum, unless there has been changes or refurbishments to the site or asbestos has been removed or damaged. We've got some equipment here behind us. This is obviously a, a HEPA filtered negative pressure extraction unit and you've got a scope in there. Just quickly give us a, give us a run through on what this bit of kit is here. So in our uh, safety cabinet, uh, we can safely handle the asbestos samples in the cabinet there uh, using the Stereo microscope, we do an initial inspection of the material, check the homogeneity of the material and any fibres that could be present in there. Once we've done the initial inspection of the uh, sample using the stereo microscope, the sample is then subsampled and mounted onto a glass slide, which can then be analysed under the polarising light microscope. Just run us through what you do in the lab. So for bulk sample analysis, uh, we go through a uh, series of criteria for identifying what type of asbestos the material is. Run me through the monitoring, run me through the clearance, and then run me through what, um, you know, once you've got that air sample back into the lab, like how that air sample's taken, and then what you do with that sample once you've got it back to the lab. Yeah. So during an asbestos removal project, uh, there may be air monitoring that uh, needs to be undertaken. The air monitoring happens by uh, collecting a known volume of air through a, a membrane filter. That membrane filter is then processed in the laboratory and under the microscope, and we manually count the number of fibres on that filter for that known quantity of air and we can determine whether or not that uh, exceeds or is below the uh, required criteria for control air monitoring. And for clearances following the removal of asbestos, it's a very similar process where we inspect that property to ensure that all asbestos has been removed and also sample the air as a precaution uh, to ensure that any uh, dust is not still airborne that may contain asbestos in the property. First of all, Stuart, thanks very much. Very insightful running through how a NADA accredited laboratory works. I'd like to uh, 
just encourage everyone to jump on our website at pira.com.au. We're leaders in indoor environmental uh, risk management products and services. There's a whole list of the things that we do on there. We're represented in Queensland, New South Wales, Victoria and Western Australia. Um, please reach out and we'll uh, do whatever we can to help you. Thanks very much.